So the song structure for this song is going to be intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then another verse, another chorus, and then a bridge and an outro. We're going to break this into just four guitar parts, a nice finger-picked intro part, and then a part played in a verse, a part played in the pre-chorus, and then the part played in the chorus, bridge, and outro. Let's get started with the finger-picked intro. If you are looking for a step-by-step -step guide to fingerstyle guitar, you can get a free trial to my intro course by clicking here or in the link in the description below this video. All right, so I'm gonna start with a finger-picked intro and then I'm gonna show you an easy chords intro afterwards if you wanna play that instead. So we're gonna start and we're gonna play the open sixth string and with our third finger on the ninth fret of the third string and we're gonna play those two strings at the same time. Then you're going to play the open 6th string again. Then we're going to move up to our first finger on the 7th fret of the 2nd string and alternate between the 2nd string and the 6th string. Then you put your 2nd finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string and then alternate again. Then you're going to move that 1st finger again to the 7th fret of the 1st string and alternate once more. So that together is... Then moving on to the second bar, we're going to start again with a chord, and it's going to be that third finger on the ninth fret of the third string, and your second finger on the eighth fret of the sixth string this time. And play those two. Then go back to the sixth string. Then we're going to do another back and forth alternation three times. So put that first finger on the seventh fret of the second string and then alternate. Then this one's a little bit of a stretch, but put your third finger on the eighth fret of the second string and then alternate again. And then back to that first finger on the seventh fret and then alternate one more time. So then that second bar is... So then moving into the next bar, this bar is going to be the exact same as the first bar, just with the fifth string instead of the sixth string. So... So exact same as that first bar, just with the fifth string instead of the sixth string. Then the final bar of this, we're going to put our second finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string, third finger on the eighth fret of the third string. Then play the sixth string. Then pinky on the ninth fret of the third string. And alternate between those two. And then end with your first finger on the seventh fret of the second string. So then all together, those four bars sound like this. And you're going to play that whole thing, and then you're going to repeat the first three bars exactly, and then on the second time, your fourth bar is just going to be this chord here. So the held seventh fret on the sixth string, and the eighth fret on the third string. So then the entire intro all together is going to sound like this.
So you can play that finger picking part and I think that sounds really nice and it's worth a try even if it takes you a little bit of practice. But if you'd prefer to just do easy chords, you can play single strums on E minor, C, A, and B. And you're just going to hold each of those chords for four beats. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, then moving into the verse, it's going to be really simple. We're just going to play simple, easy strums. We're going to start with an E minor and hold that for two beats, then switch to a C, hold that for two beats, and then A minor for four. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to play that part three times. Then on the fourth time, you're going to play C for two beats, and then B for two beats. So it's really simple. It's nice and slow and ambient to fit with the song, and you should be able to get this one no problem. So the full verse sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That one's pretty straightforward. It shouldn't get you too long to do that one. So then moving into the chorus, we're going to make the strumming a little bit more interesting. So starting on a C chord, our strumming is going to be down, 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 up, down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So that's the strumming pattern you're going to be playing. And we're just going to switch that on a bunch of different chords. So we're going to start and play that strumming pattern twice on C, then twice on E minor, then twice on A minor, and then end the pre-chorus with a held B. So the entire pre-chorus together sounds like this. Then moving into the final part of the song, the chorus, we're going to use the exact same chords as the verse and the strumming pattern from the pre-chorus. So we've already learned most of these parts. We're going to use the pre-chorus strumming pattern and then the chords E minor, C, A minor three times and then C, B once. So the only thing to watch out for here is unlike the pre-chorus, you are switching chords mid-bar, so you're going to switch chords halfway through the strumming pattern on beats one and three. So all together, this is the chorus. So that one's a little bit faster and there's some fast changes, but you should be able to get that quick enough and it's just using the exact same parts from the other two sections. So if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. Make sure to practice along with this with the chords and lyrics in the description of this video, and hopefully you enjoyed this song. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of all my new videos. I'll see you in the next 5-Minute Guitar Lesson.